welcome to Sun Lot. Long day of traveling yesterday. Um, very full flight and a long, slow bus ride to the hotel. We finally made it. Staying in up here right now. Beautiful hotel, it's a lovely day. It's very hot. Just getting ready to get out for a ride. Bike's ready to go. So I think today we've got a ride on the cards, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Um, we've got to come back for race rego, race briefing, and then there's like a dinner tonight, welcome dinner, and then the tour kicks off tomorrow. So um, looking forward to getting into it. It's going to be a very steep heat prep <laughs> today is all I've got, um, and it's already hot as hell and it's only 8.30 in the morning. But um, I like the heat. Previously when I've been here, I've gone pretty well in the heat, so let's hope that um, that happens again. So, I'm gonna get out for a ride now and um, be back with a bit more shortly. Well, we just got back from an absolute scorcher of a training ride. It's so hot here that it's steaming up the lens. Holy. Um, yes, we left at 9 a.m. It was already 35 degrees when we left, which most of my training rides recently back in Auckland it's been about 9 degrees. So, hell of a contrast. But um, now we've got, I'm going to have a chat with the tour director, and then we've got Rego and race briefing, and then we've got the welcome dinner tonight. So, stay tuned. Okay, CTR4, Tour Director for the Negative Split Carbon Tour of Samoa, Race Director for all the other Samoa events, races, Swim Series, yep. Warrior, um, Five Islands, yeah. Yeah. Savai Marathon, yeah, International Marathon, International yeah. Marathon, that's right, the yeah. whole lot. Um, it's a pleasure to be backing up here with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. It's been yeah. a long, long four year break between yes. races here, yeah. so yeah. Um, very nice to be back and awesome um, that you and your team have kept the event going because over yep. the last four years a lot of events have fallen over true um, yeah so i think i think myself along with everyone else here is so excited yep. that we've had a race to look forward to um and you know a trip away as well yeah, it's yeah, my trip. first time overseas yeah. in four years <laughs> um so yeah how um how's it been getting the tour up and running again well the the, the cycle tour uh, and uh, really cool to have the neg negative split carbon your company to come and be partners with the tour mm. it's the first time we've had an international partner on the tour which is really something mm -hmm. uh, and we look forward to that partnership uh, just uh, putting it on uh, we had no idea who would turn up of course mm -hmm. there are other issues other aside from uh, from covid and so on the economic issues around the world impact a lot of people. Mm. Uh, and uh, But yeah, so here we are, we have 25 riders mm -hmm. um, on the tour, a couple of local riders joining us, which is great. Very and good. Uh, mm -hmm. so really looking forward to it. some good people, really good, uh, mm. a bunch of people. Oh, they've already been here 24 hours, but it's seen that they're yeah. clicking, uh, uh, clicking mm. well together. Some good riders here too, I've seen 20, <laughs> I think it's 23 time Tour of South and Finisher, Gordon yep. McCauley's here with us, um, looking fit as usual. Um, do you want to give us a quick rundown of the tour, the, the days, sure. hemp stages, all that sort of thing? Uh, the, uh, so the tour starts tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, we 6 o'clock in the morning, we ride to Lala Manu, 60 mm -hmm. k's, uh, and that's uh, stage one yep. of day one. Uh, and then stage two of day two uh, is that we're riding back here. We ride back. Uh, we're no, no stage two, day one. We stage ride back two. tomorrow afternoon, don't oh, we? Of course, yeah. so, so day, day one, I stage two. if it was day two. <laughs> uh, so it's a big day tomorrow. Yeah. It's probably the biggest day of the tour. A lot um, of climbing and too. And we've got some the hills at uh, Fulilo mm. and also Le Mafa to, uh, to get over. Um, and then also the heat. Mm. Yeah. So this is yeah. the biggest day of the tour is tomorrow. Uh, then, then day two, we ride from here to Manasi. Mm -hmm. Now that seems a long way, but there's a break in between with a ferry ride, Mulifanua mm -hmm. uh, to to uh, Salilulonga. Uh, day three is the shortest day uh, of the tour with a time trial, mm -hmm. which is uh, 31 kilometers uh, from Manasseh to Asao. Mm -hmm. uh, day four is a 100k challenge, mm -hmm. that's from Asao to Amor mm -hmm. Resort. Yeah. So it's almost 
it's about halfway around the island all in, in one go, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, all in mm -hmm. one go. It's 100 yeah. case. So yep. it's halfway around uh, Savai'i in one day. Mm -hmm. Then we have a rest day yep. on Friday. Um, but on that rest day, there's a half a dozen people that will do the 180. That's mm. one lap of Savai'i. Yeah. Uh, in, Looking in, at you, Gordon <laughs> McCauley. <laughs> in, one, in one day. <laughs> yep. uh, so we have a couple of finishers from last time that did mm -hmm. it, and they're doing it again. Right, well, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's on the rest day, mm -hmm. and then on Saturday we have the victory uh, ride, mm -hmm. which is the Peloton from Amor all the way to the town clock. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. And I've, I've been lucky enough to come here twice before, I've seen yep. most of um, Upolo and most of Savai'i when yes. we were over there for the swim series. And I think the tour, the, the route I've seen of the tour, does such a good job of showing off as much of Samoa as, as possible. Um, all by bike, so it's yep. very cool, very awesome route, and I'm excited to to ride tomorrow, even though it's going to be scorching hot. <laughs> That'll be the challenge. It's not the yeah. case. It's not the hills. It's going to be the the heat. Totally. Yeah. 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 Awesome. And um, so we're, as you said, negative split carbon is the, is the sponsor, naming yep. right sponsor. Exactly. It's um, it's actually the first big event that we've sponsored, and the first offshore event we've sponsored well, as a Kiwi excited. company. Yeah. Um, and you know, for us, it's really cool because. We started. We were founded in New Zealand. That's where we've grown our biggest customer base. Um, but now we're we're expanding into Australia and other markets. And um, this tour captures Kiwi riders. It captures Aussie riders. Yep. Um, I've talked to some people today from the UK. Um, so we're yep. you know it's a really cool way to um, you know have a, a cool ride, catch up, meet some great people. And um, you know for us it's really cool because we're we're talking to people from all over the world um, who yep. who ride bikes just like we do. So it's really exciting. Yeah, for us too, it's not just a matter of having a business to sponsor us, but it's somebody that we know. Mm. Like, we know you, uh, that, that predates the tour, uh, mm -hmm. that you've been part of the tour. Uh, you've been here in our events twice, twice before, mm -hmm. and they've done other stuff. So that, that, that relationship gels well, mm. uh, that it's built on a friendship. Absolutely. And, and then secondly, mm. a business relationship. For sure. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a pleasure to be involved, and yeah. very exciting to be here. And, uh, you know, if we can do it again next year, Yep. Then we'll, we'll try to get a, even more of the team over. And, um, Let's get the tour you know. over, over Thursday. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Let's finish this one. Yeah. No, awesome. All right, Chris. Thank you, City. Thanks, mate. All it's right. a pleasure. All righty. All right. I wish all race finishes looked like this. We are at Lalamanu Beach, just finished stage one of the Tour of Samoa. Um, it was absolutely brutal, 60 something case from Apia over some pretty big mountain passes. Um, I got a new FTP, I sweated more than I've ever sweated in my life. It was like riding in a sauna. Um, I finished up fourth on this stage, um, which I'm actually pretty happy with, taking my grand total of road races to one. Um, so yeah, fourth on the line, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Just had a quick lunch, a little recovery, and getting into stage two shortly. But um, in the meantime, this is Lalamanu Beach. What an epic place for a race finish and to hang out for a couple of hours and chill. Well, that is stage two out of the way, um, and that was absolutely rapid it was there was a few little little hills but it was mostly undulating but just an insanely fast stage i think we were you know up in the 40s for most of it um and it was 38 degrees just to make matters more difficult um fourth again on that stage we had some good teamwork going on and um got one of the boys set him up for a nice break and he got the stage win which was cool um, so it's tightened everything up on the leaderboard. Um, I'm probably sitting in fourth overall, which I'm pretty chuffed about. My, my grand total of road races has now gone up to two. I've doubled it from this morning. Um, but right now we're at this resort in Samoa. I've been here once before. It is stunning. Uh, it's called Sinale Resort. Um, look at this. What a spot. Could be. Could be Hawaii, it's that nice. But um it's lunchtime. I am absolutely starving. And then uh, it's probably gonna be quite a lazy afternoon. Uh, I've gotta get back to the other side of the island, back to the accommodation. Probably just lay around by the pool and have 
dinner and go to bed early. But uh, yeah, day one, done. Well, that is stage three, done and dusted. It was dark, it was wet, it was hilly, um, quite difficult and well beyond my abilities on a bike. So I pulled the ripcord pretty early and left the bunch and um, just cruised home. So I think I'm still sitting in fourth. I think I might have been fourth on the stage. Um, but yeah, I was out the back of the bunch for a while. But um, now we've just had the ferry ride. We're on the island of Savai'i and it's beautiful. Oh, oh, who's this? A <laughs> two-time stage winner. <laughs> Green jersey, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Well, well Van Aert over here. <laughs> it's another another stage win. Maybe another minute ahead of the yellow, yeah. and it's yours. Just have to keep clawing back those seconds. Yeah, yeah. Keep chipping away. Keep chipping away. Keep riding like a man possessed. It's good to see. <laughs> the only way. <laughs> What's this afternoon stage? It's like another 50 k's? 40 something? 50 something? I don't know. The racing bit of it is... <sighs> he has a bit of neutral to start with. It is like 40k. Yeah, a bit of neutral and then 30 something k's racing to the other side of the island. Flat. This one should be pretty flat. Although we've got to go through the lava fields, so yeah, it'll be stinking hot. Yeah. Another sweat fest just like yesterday afternoon. Yes, actually, it does feel like we might have a bit of a tailwind. That would be good, but it's not going to keep us cool. <laughs> oh well. Be back after stage four. Well, that is stage four finished. And that was absolutely brutal. Um, pretty much stage halfway around the island of Savai'i, which included the lava fields. Um, it's hot and it's pushing almost 40 degrees and the wind coming off the lava fields felt like it was about 40 degrees so so hard um, I think we had a pretty high average speed we're, we're really steaming um, yeah it's hard fourth again probably cemented my fourth position by now I think Stay in Savai tonight. Staying in the traditional Samoan beach valley, which is a pretty choice. And uh, we've just got a time trial tomorrow. I said just a time trial, I've been saying it's just a 30 something k time trial, but these stages have all been so brutal. Time trial will be no different. So I uh, hopefully have a good rest tonight. Wake up tomorrow feeling good, not too sore. And, um, Smash out a time trial, hopefully I get too beaten up by myself on that one. Yeah. Happy days. Oh, good morning. We've just finished stage five, which was an individual time trial, 31 Ks. Um, I was actually dreading it. I had a terrible sleep last night, woke up pretty sore. Um, 15k on the flat actually went really well. I think we got through the first 10k in like 16 minutes or something. Um, and then got into the hills, the next 20k was just sort of undulating up and down hills, one decent ramp in there. Um, but actually went alright, and I think this stage probably suited me really well as a triathlete. I tend to not have the power to like respond to attacks road racing style, but you know, doing a nice steady state time trial um, suited me really nicely so um, yeah I think I think I finished third on the stage which I'm chuffed with nice to not be fourth for every single stage um, so yeah now we're around on the far side of the island of Savai a place called Vaisila and it's beautiful um, we just went for a swim in the lagoon it's like turtles and stuff like sheltered by a nice little reef and beautiful water. I'll show you. Let me spin around. Mm. 
magic. I really miss home at the moment, but um, I don't miss home's weather. It's nice to be able to go swim at the beach and um, just just chill out here where it's so nice and warm. So uh, yeah, that was today's stage. Only one stage today. Back into it tomorrow with two stages, a 55k stage and then a 45k stage. With a break in the middle. And that's gonna be pretty hard. It's gonna be quite hot as well. But then we finish up back around on the other side of the island um, at a lovely resort, which hopefully has a real nice buffet because I'm gonna be starving. But uh, yeah, until next time, that's today's update. Pretty much wrapped up the tour. Um, had stage, or oh, the last two stages, I forgot what number they were. Um, first stage was a hilly stage um, from sort of the bottom end of Savai'i over the island out to the coast. Um, it was a hard, um, I don't know, 50 something k's of hills. And it wasn't too hot, which was pretty good. Sort of temperature hovered between like 23 and 28. Much hotter than what we used to in New Zealand, but compared to the like almost 40s um, been having for the last few days, that was a nice change. And then um, we had a real quick break and straight into the last stage, which was um, relatively flat, but extremely hot um, all the way along the coast. Back to um, Sale Lolonga, which is where the Sawai Ferry um, comes into the island. And sort of the first half of the stage, or first third, was like in a bunch, and then um, Gordy and Benna, who were like second and third on GC, took off up the road, and um, the leader didn't chase. He's He had more than enough time in the bank. Um, and then so I sort of decided then that. I want to try and go for third on the stage. I've had mostly fourths. Um, I got a third in the TT, so I wanted to get another third. Um, and with about six k's to go, we just hit this little climb, and I didn't didn't attack on the climb, but I rode it um, pretty solid and dropped the group. And then when I got to the top, I just kept riding um, pretty hard and got away for a couple of k's, and then. Um, the leader in the yellow caught me with maybe 2k to go and then we came to the 1k to go flag and we were pretty much just riding side by side listening to each other breathing um, and then with like a couple of hundred to go I kicked and, and just went for the sprint and looked back and got him on the line by a few seconds so um, stoked to get third on the final stage so I think that meant overall I finished up in fourth position, which I'm actually really chuffed with. This is like my first proper road racing, first ever tour. Um, a lot of new experiences for me, and um, I learned so much from riding with um, a ton of awesome riders. So it was very cool. And I'm really glad I came and rode. Um, it's actually the day after, and so we, today was a rest day. We're at Amal Resort, which is a stunning resort on Savai'i, and we just did like an easy, kind of like a recovery ride today. Um, 40 something k's, stopped for coffee. Um, it was pretty choice, and then came back and just been like chilling by the pool and having some naps this afternoon. And then um, tomorrow we've sort of got, it's a group ride. It's, it's a tour stage, but it's neutralized. Um, from here at Amal Resort, um, back to Sale Lolonga, which is where the ferry takes us back to Upolu, and we ride into Apia, which is the capital of Samoa, in the centre of town. So I think all up, there's like 40 something k's, 42, 44 k's of riding tomorrow. Um, but it's all neutralised, just group ride. I should be pretty chilled. And then um, we have like the podiums and um, victory ceremony and a, like a big, big dinner. Um, tomorrow night which will be really cool so I'm um, running out of days here in Samoa got like tonight it's pretty much pretty much bedtime now um, and then just a couple more nights and then I've got to fly back home to, to 
freezing cold Auckland. I feel like I've only just started getting used to the high 30s temperatures and now it's time to go back to the um, single digit temperatures of Auckland, which is a real shame, but um, I do want to get home. Oh, 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 oh,